In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about a particular type of spiritual warfare that often gets overlooked, but we're starting to see more and more of it and it's becoming more prevalent. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man i want you to pay close attention to this as a man or a woman because we are starting to see more and more communication and testimonies about people that have been delivered you know Christianity has a lot of people that once partook in this stuff and now are in Christianity man this stuff right here is well beyond what having street smarts will allow you to recognize and be aware of today man you when people talk about the protection of the Most High Yah, man, you have to be studied and you have to be learned on this walk so you can recognize snares, you could recognize dangers. Today, we're talking about spiritual wisdom and you can't fake it. Before I go any further, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, Turn your notifications on. Check out my affiliate links in the description box for some exclusive discount codes to help save you some money. Man, if you like things like uh, fitness supplements, you know, weapons, tactical gear, ammunition, I got a discount code for Optics Planet and Bodybuilding.com in the link in the description. Man, today we're talking about witchcraft. Man, after this video is over, I want you to go on to YouTube and type in witchcraft testimonies. And look at what comes up. Look at this plethora. Majority of it's gonna be women telling their story about witchcraft. There's gonna be some theologians that will try to educate you and then you have women on there women and men talking about the different uh spells and stuff like that that they didn't realize that they had to be delivered out of man if you're not studied in this word and you're not paying attention you know and situationally aware what good is the protection if you keep going back to the same snare, the same trap, the same place of enchantment and wizardry because you're ignorant. You see what I'm saying? Man, you have women out here telling testimonies of, man, them being under spells from other women where they kept losing babies because these women didn't want this men didn't want these men to be with another woman ecclesiasticus talks about the jealousy of a woman the word says i suffer you not i permit you not to let a witch to live it says don't don't partake yourself with wizardry sorcery enchantment man you got to be very cautious and i hope you you, you seek to be filled with the spirit of the most high Yah, a spirit that gives understanding, a spirit that gives truth, so you can discern this stuff. You know, be cautious of all these people that are talking about energies, chakras, enchantments. You know, 
because the Bible talks about familiar spirits and you ignorantly as a man or a woman, you may say, oh, no, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But what you're experiencing is a familiar spirit. Man, that's a, a, a spirit that will put a stronghold on you. You got men out here wondering why they fumbling and you're constantly falling into the snares of a woman who's practicing witchcraft. Man, nowadays, people are so carnally educated and intellectual that they don't even realize that their kids is partaking in this stuff. This stuff goes a lot deeper. You got kids, you know, uh, playing games and stuff like that on tablets and phones that have a storyline of witchcraft and sorcery. Man, boy, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you guys an example. Man, Erica Badu, this is an example, has publicly said some of the stuff that she's involved in. Okay? You see all of these men that have fell into that same snare. They all got the same story. Something about that woman. Something about her. Better pay attention. Because chances are, man, you might be walking into an environment where you can't recognize the signs. They're doing all kind of uh, witch sacrifices that ain't righteous, it's wicked, all kind of dark, demonic stuff. Man, listen to some of these witchcraft testimonies on YouTube. And people will tell you the kind of foolishness that they've been involved in. And uh, a lot of it, 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 it's sad because a lot of it is women telling you the kind of spells, you know, tools, enchantments, and uh, different levels of witchcraft that they put on women and men. If you out here moving ignorantly thinking this is a game, street smarts ain't enough. It's one thing to be in a rough part of town or to be somewhere, say for instance, like a the the, the bad part of Chicago and to have street smarts to say, yep, I need to I need to move like this. Spiritually, man, we're on a battlefield. You gotta you gotta be able to discern this stuff. Pay attention to it. Be situationally aware for, for, for guarding your soul. Because there are people out here that will put spells on you, curses on you, and you wonder why certain stuff is happening to you. Man, we got Passover and Feast of Unleavened Bread, you know, around the corner just after the dead season. And man, that's a time right there of deliverance, cleansing all the leaven out of your life, you know, praying for deliverance for seven days, eating, you know, unleavened bread. I'm telling you, man, you better be cautious out here. Pay attention to this stuff, study and learn, educate yourself, not on how to doggone use it and partake, no, but the signs. There's certain signs and symbolisms that witches use. And oftentimes, you look at it and say, oh, man, that's just some jewelry. Oh, that ain't nothing, man. And you walking into some stuff to a, a, a woman that wants to put a curse or a, a spell on your soul. Closer to y'all ministry, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.